Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to see uh, the IPO review analysis of uh, Bajaj Housing Finance. So this is a new addition to your uh, Bajaj group of companies. We've got already Bajaj FinServe and uh, Bajaj Finance, Bajaj Auto and Bajaj Electricals on the list. And this is going to be their next uh, feather on the cap. So the topic comes here is like, are you going to apply for IPOs? We'll see by the end of this video. The first thing that you have to note here is that they're coming up with a new IPO with about a bandwidth of uh, uh, 6,350 crores, out of which uh, 3,560 crores is going to be um, uh, going to be on your uh, new business expansion into this business and another 3000 crores is going to be their OFS. So that's one of the part which has to be like uh, put into a thought. Besides that everything seems to be like really good. The company is like uh, planning up a price band of 66 to 70 rupees. So if you're applying for this IPO definitely I apply with the upper band uh, price of 70 rupees. The chances of you to getting this allotment is like really high. Then the lot size is like a minimum of uh, 2 lakhs if you're applying for an HNI and it goes up to like 10 lakhs. So if you're going to apply as a retail investor then the lot size is going to be a single lot of uh, 14,000 something around and uh, it will go up to like 2 lakhs. So always apply for like one or two um, lots so that the chances of you getting the allotment is like really high. The company has got like great financials. If you see that the company has given up 34% of PAT in the last financial year. And if you see the charts, you'll be able to see the assets of the company has considerably increased over the past few years. And you could see that uh, the uh, the profit after the tax, the PAT value is also like considerably increasing. So this is like a very steadily growing up company. You could see that results of this is uh, till June 2024. So that's going to be like automatically added up and it's definitely going to be like a green signal or it's going to be a like positive values if comparing up with their performance over the past few years. The share offering is going to be like 50% of this is going to be always with your uh, QABs. So the qualified institutional buyers, they will be uh, like buying up 50% of that and they'll be holding it for a longer time. The 15% is going to be for your h &I clients and the remainder 35% is going to be for your retail clients. So if you are holding up a Bajaj FinServe or Bajaj Finance or any of their portfolio companies, your chances of getting the allotment is high. As I told in the last video, the, if you hold any of their parent company stocks, do apply for this IPO without fail because uh, the expected returns of this is definitely uh, up to like 80 to 100 percent as per the uh, GMP till date. So the grey market premium is like roughly estimated about 100 uh, percent. So the IPO of this starts on the September 9th and it goes until like uh, September 11th and uh, the listing date is estimated to be September 16th. The stock will list both on BSE and NSE as well. So you'll have a higher chances of uh, buying on one market and selling on the other. That's going to be another thing. If you're planning for a long term horizon, do retain this stock because this is again going to be a, a feather on the cap. So it's going to be becoming the next uh, Bajaj FinServe or you could uh, sell it on the day of listing to get or to reap the 100% benefits of this IPO. So if you like this video, I have posted another video about Bajaj Auto completely, the Bajaj group of companies. So do check out that as well so that you get a complete idea about how strong of a business is it and how successful they are in their market. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. You can definitely take a note on that. If you like this IPO review, do share it with your friends and do share it with all the people whom you know so that they can also apply for this IPO. Thanks for watching.